maarifa na taarifa za kijanja kuhusu sheria karibu kwenye jukwaa la sheria poa sheria poa podcast Leo tuko na dada Flora Obeto, wakili maarufu katika kampuni ya wakili hapa Tanzania lakini pia ni mfanyabiashara katika masuala ya bima. Na leo tutaongelea changamoto, fursa uh, ambazo yeye kama wakili na mjasiriamali wa kike anapitia. Da Flora, hebu tuanze kwanza na changamoto ambazo unapitia. Challenges zipo nyingi kwa mawakili wa kike lakini nitaongelea challenges ambazo mimi kama mimi nilipitia katika hiki ya ya wakili okay? so my number one challenge kwenye the whole career ni kwamba nilikuwa sina career guidance if that makes sense in a sense kwamba uko chuo sawa kuna masomo yani kwenye the, 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 the ground ya kuwa wakili sasa naanzia the ground challenges about paka huko juu unakuja kuipata kwa hiyo uko chuo unasomea sheria au juu unataka wakili aina gani au juu ni mawakili wako aina gani wewe kwenye mzunguko wako na kuzunguka umezoea tu wakili ni kwenda mahakamani lakini which in real sense sio sio kweli kwa hiyo kipindi uko chuo amna ile guidance ya kuambia jamani kuna wakili wa corporate na wakili wa finance kuna wakili wa commercial kuna wakili wa taxation unajua ama mtu anakuwa hiyo guidance kwa unakuta kuna some very specific subjects ambazo mimi za kwa elective sana sana una, una unatafuta zile zile electives rahisi ili mradi iende umalize chuo sawa so, umemaliza chuo ume graduate umaliza law school asa uko kwenye practice uko kwenye practice ndo unakutana kwamba aha kuna different types of mawakili back then akili yako akili ilikuwa kwamba wakili ni kwenda mahakamani lakini unakuja kuona kwamba kwenda mahakamani it's not your it's not something about unataka kufanya any it's not something that you enjoy doing kwa unakuta na mambo ya hizo competitions competition law mambo ya banking and finance pia kuyasikia so you come to know them ukiwa kwenye practice lakini ungeianza hiyo tangu uko shule ina maanisha umekuwa na better foundation ambayo ingekusaidia huku kwenye practice so to me career guidance ndo it, it was a major challenge man in the face kwenye the uh, okay apart uh, apart from your guidance what else do you think is a challenge asa because i was talking it in my perspective mimi kama mimi challenge in your face lakini kwenye the general work space mimi nafanya kazi na mawakili wengi wa kike uh, office no fire kazi ina ina mawakili wengi wa kike kwa kiume so i just talk about the general challenges and buzzword what we discuss hapa na pale challenge number 2 ni kwamba uh, kazi ya wakili au market ya wakili it's a bit of capitalism in its way. Kwa hiyo challenge inakuja kwa mwanamke uh, pale ambapo for example anashika ujauzito anatakiwa aende maternity leave paka arudi mara nyingi hapo kuna gap ya ya so many things ambazo ana miss kwa mtoto wa kike. Some law firms wana entertain wanasema okay it's fine it's human nature anaenda urudi but i know other law firms and I know friends about wamekuwa contracts wa, wa, ziliisha baada ya wao kupata ujauzito because law firms wana feel like we can make money where utakuwa kwenye maternity leave kwa muda fulani utakuwa nini so and kabla mkataba wetu umeshakuwa hapa ukirudi kama kuna nafasi utajoin kama kuna nafasi bye bye so that's the second challenge ambayo na lakini nikiongelea kwa challenge ya tatu Uh, just, just sio tu kwa mawakili kwa general wanawake ni kuhasu kupata ile kazi watu wengi wanatumia different means and utakuta mawakili wa kike mfano wametoka fresh from fresh from law school wanajaribu kuingia katika ofisi mbalimbali ili practice wakili 
wanakutana challenges hizo za kutongozwa challenges in my to kazi challenges za kuwa undermined kuwa underlooked na the, the male dominating uh, seniors wow na vitu kama hivyo kwa hapo sifa nimeongelea three challenges ambazo mimi in my perspective those are really challenges kwa wanawake wana wale kwenye Um, ni 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 kweli ni, ni changamoto nzito ambazo mawakili wanawake wanapitia uh, katika hizi changamoto nyingine kama unavyosema inaweza isiwe imekukuta wewe lakini labda imekuta ime mtu ambaye unafahamu au ni kesi umeshawahi kukutana nayo Um, naomba tu nianzie na hiyo changamoto ya kwanza ya kwamba ya kwanza na ya pili ni kama naweza kuziunganisha pamoja um, katika hizo katika katika kupata guidance leo kwa mwanamke au kwa msichana ambaye anakusikiliza wewe simia wake mtarajiwa uh, una unampa ushauri gani yani afanye nini ili aweze kupata guidance of course kama tulivyo discuss jana kwamba mazingira yawe mazuri na it needs to start nyumbani wazazi tujaribu kutafuta guidance zinazo 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 tutakazoweza kupata kwa ajili ya watoto uh, wetu wa kike na wa kiume uh, lakini ni nini kingine ambacho unadhani pia mtoto wa kike mwenyewe anaweza pia aka yani akafanya if if you were to if you are to meet your younger self leo ungejiambia nini okay um if i were to meet my younger self leo mimi na bahati chuo ambayo nimesoma kulikuwa na different law firms wanakuja wanaelezea different things but i think by then kwa akili yangu ya batan it was something about ungenikalisha chini na kuanza kunielezea i could always go what what's the simplest selective i'd go for it lakini um to manage yourself ningewaambia pay attention to every detail you, you sh- it's okay to not know what you want at that moment lakini pia it's not bad kwenda kusikiliza na kupata ushauri um in the guidance matter uh ushauri mwingine ni kwamba sasa hivi najua wana sheria wengi kuna so many is a legal women group wanawake sasa hivi wanapaza sauti kuna so many support system kwa wanawake hata kwenye the legal the legal the legal arena as well usione aibu una swali uliza unataka guidance in something specific uliza kuna different so many different mentorship program kwa watoto wa kike angalia um, the mentorship program bio inakusuit wewe na career yako wewe go for it kuna ile uoga ambao unasema unaji unaji hold back i think that's the yeah. challenge ambayo um, and the 2020, 2021 women's day more than i choose to challenge i think in this fact i choose to challenge young women to fight their fears na to approach and ask questions and go for the right mentorship and just do the right for their own career guidance sa so, mimi nikuulize wewe bila sio lazima unitajie mentor wako au mentors wako ni nani pase lakini wewe ulimpataje mentor wako how do I, how do, how does someone find a really good mentor how does someone mentor kwanza ni nani mentor kwanza ni nani tuanzie hapo who is the, okay. who is the mentor tuanzie hapo <laughs> a mentor um ni mtu ambaye na mtu ambaye mara nyingi ni skin ya kwako sio lazima awe kwenye career yako anaweza kawa kwenye different career au different things kuna mentors wa mambo ya mfano spiritual in the spiritual type of in the spiritual world for example kuna mentors wa mambo ya finance kuna mentors wa mambo ya career umeelewa so basically <laughs> ni mtu ambaye ambaye ni skin mkubwa kwako ni skin ya kwako unaenda for a guidance in something specific for example unatakuwa unataka kujua Mungu zaidi it's someone that you look up to basically kwamba yes. you admire the way they do something you admire the way they act in a certain way you admire the way they handle their finances for example and you want mentorship in that finance wanashauri mara nyingi 
not to approach a person of mwambia you be my mentor because that's always a bit a bit awkward but who are wanashauri kwamba ndio rais of pata mentors ukisha identify the person that you'd like to get mentorship from um it's always good to create that contact umelea watu wazima siku zote wana they always uh okay put it kwa ni watu wakutoa ushauri mara kwa mara so yeah. it wouldn't kwa mtu mwingine it won't be a mentorship one on one hivyo lakini itakuwa kila ukienda kwa huyo mtu kila ukiomba kwa hiyo mtaweza kumsalimia hata kupiga simu kumsalimia kumjulia hali lazima atakupa madini fulani hivi ambayo usinge mtafuta usinge pata so mentorship doesn't have to be a really something formal but some, someone ambaye you look up to una una tatizo fulani una swali fulani in a specific area and unaenda kwake personally mimi na mentors kama wanne tofauti staff <laughs> son uh-huh. yeah so what are different wanna play different roles who you mambo finances na any napenda nabo carry yourself for your finances napenda hivi who you mambo ya sheria you just admire brains and brains blow you away when i lay ko kio na swali unajiuliza swali ya sheria that would be the first one I'll, 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 I'll call to ask a question like in this situation how do you solve it how it might not happen i will hear you feel stuck in your career man it happens you don't know why why am i doing law kwa nini mwana sheria maybe yeah. I, i i need guidance nifanyeje nile kwa nifanye ni nifanye ni niondoke na hii feeling ya kwa trapped kumbuka ile mtu ni simu yako chances are ameshakutia what you've been going through kwa ataku sa sa tuna hapo yeah. hapo nimekuelewa na natumaini wasikilizaji pia wataweza ku ku kwa challenge ku ku face fear na whenever you're in doubt you can always have a mentor ambaye ataku ataku guide hapa na pale au atakupa inspiration um yeah. uh, upande mwingine wa challenges ambazo ume raise mbili um ni, kama ulivyosema i challenge you you challenge yourself and you're challenging both men and women kuhakikisha kwamba hizi changamoto wanazopitia uh, zi, wana succeed wana overcome hizi challenge na tunakomesha vikwazo vyo vyote ambavyo ni vibovu kama hiyo yeah. rushwa ya ngono uh, yeah. na, 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 na kudharauliwa wewe unajua yes. mtu umjudge mtu kwa capacity yake na sio kwa kwa, kwa maumbile ya kuzaliwa um, yeah. If that's the right word uh, without prejudice. <laughs> <laughs> Maarifa na taarifa za kijanja kuhusu sheria. Karibu kwenye jukwaa la sheria poa. Sheria poa podcast. tuje kwenye hii engo ya pi hizi changamoto ambazo ni more serious zaidi zote ni serious lakini hii pia kwa kweli inasikitisha sana u, u, ni nini ni nini ambacho sheria zipo za kumlinda mwanamke asinyanyasike asi 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 hata asifikirie kutoa rushwa ya ngono sheria zipo za kulinda taasisi tunazo lakini bado kuna kuna changamoto za hapa na pale kuna loopholes hapa na pale Uh, kwa experience yako na, ka, na nafasi yako kama mwanamama wa kikili nini unadhani tuongeze nguvu nini ambacho hakijafanyika cha kutosha tuwekee mkazo na kwa experience nini tu, una, 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 una ushauri gani kina mama ambao ni mawakili ambao ni wanasheria na hata wale ambao sio wanasheria katika katika hii tasnia yetu ya sheria waweke wafanye nini na sisi kina baba kina kaka tunaosikiliza tusaidie tufanye nini ili tuweze kukomesha hizi changamoto naomba input yako ili tupam um, changamoto yangu in that part uh, of which na nashukuru na, na, na I appreciate the fact kwamba inafanywa kazi but I think we need to learn kazo zamani it was a myth mtu kuja kusema kwamba yani kama vile kuna sexual harassment kuna nini kuna nini lakini like squeeze we are slowly trying to normalize it just kwamba it makes a person feel comfortable feel like they're in a safe space to come out na kusema kwamba jamani yeah, mtu fulani kani kani harass sexually um, so i think we should normalize it more and more and more 
we should uh, encourage every mtoto wa kike um wakili uh, and kila mtoto wa kike tosa hata watu wa kiume sio maana hata watu wa kiume pia wanakuwa sexual harassers kwa hiyo yeah. kila jinsia to normalize kwamba uh, this is not right unyanyasaji wa kijinsia sio sawa na ikikutokea it's okay to come out na sio kujificha behind your own bubbles kwamba I feel ashamed I feel the society will judge me so it's for us kama uh, wanajamii ku normalize more 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 and more wajitokeze zaidi na ili hizi vita tuzipinge tuzipinge na sawa hapo hapo mimi nimekuelewa na na, 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 na naomba tu kukazia kwamba ni kweli kwamba inapotokea changamoto tuko pamoja tusi tusi tu, tusifiche tuseme support system ipo mawakili tupo jamii ipo na pamoja tunaweza kukomesha changamoto hizi kaka private una, una chochote cha kuongezea kaka kwenye kwenye hii yengo katika changamoto ambazo zimejitu zimeji zimeji tokeleza zimetajwa e, mimi kwa upande wangu naona changamoto ya mentorship nadhani ni inaanzia kwenye mfumo wetu wa wa, wa, wa kumwandaa mtu kuwa wakili nafikiria hiyo uh, changamoto inaweza ina, inaweza ikatatuliwa endapo mifumo yetu ya kumwandaa mtu i mean hapa kwa ujumla wake naongelea Uh, the law school unaelewa law school uh, ukitoka degree ukienda law school ndio nayo muandaa mtu si ndio aje kuwa wakili au kuja kuwa mwanasheria whatever the, the case is nadhani ni wakati sasa mm. umefika uh, law school iache kujiendesha na kujiendesha sasa hizi na iangalie market nataka nini si ndio na iweze kuwapa watu mwanga kwa sababu mtu anaenda pale law school technically the all they teach is criminal and uh, and and civil procedure and convention as if that's the only market that we have uh ukitoka nje ya law school there's a lot of opportunities uh, there's a lot of fields ambao law school kama law school na hata undergraduates i mean vyo vyetu hivi vinavotoa degree ya sheria havituandai 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 kuja kupambana na soko umeona so kama alivyosema wakili msomi na mjasiri ya mali mwenzangu wakati muafaka ni wakati mwafaka wa, wa kuangalia kuangalia curriculum yetu ya kumwandaa mtu kuja kwenye hii field ya sheria either ibadilishwe au iendane na wakati kwa sababu uh, atuwezi kuendelea kufanya atuwezi kuendelea kufanya tunachokifanya expecting different results so we have to change the means so that we get different results so if we is to introduce mentorship programs if kama ni kufanya watu waende wakakae kwenye law firms ambazo wanataka kufanya i think itasaidia zaidi kuliko kumwacha mtu anaapishwa na kuwa wakili ndo aanze aanze kutafuta specialization yake you get my point kwamba tayari wewe yeah. ushakuwa wakili ndo unaanza kutafuta your specialization wakati ungekuwa umejiandaa all the way from undergrad you know what mimi nataka kuwa intellectual property lawyer you get the point from there you have a vision yeah. you know where you want to go you undergrad you know what mimi nataka kuwa a banking and finance lawyer mimi nataka ku major in i mean ku kuwa labda kwenye major and acquisition nataka kuwa sports lawyer Law, you, you get things like those so from there it's easily to channel your energy where it suits most rather than kutubebesha mizigo yote yani it's like a lawyer uh, wakili ni kama wanakwambiaje ni 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 ni, ni it's like ni mtu ambaye anabeba chochote it's like jalala yani wewe utafanya civil utafanya criminal utafanya sio nini kumbe sometimes they could have wangekuwa hata wanatusaidia sisi ku save our time ni kweli unakuwa jack of all trade master exactly wakati <laughs> it doesn't help you ukija huku ukija huku unajikuta mtu na deal na conveyancing tu umeona una deal labda na, na labor issues only so kwa nini usimwandae mtu kwa kwa namna hiyo kama wameweza kuzichana hata mahakama kuna labor court kuna commercial court that means the specializations and the point i'm saying it akuwa at what time at what point in time mtu anaanza ku specialize je yeah, akiwa chuoni au akishakuwa kazini i think tukisema anaanza akiwa kazini it's taking it's becoming a 
kwa sababu tutakuwa na watu wachache na tunashindwa ku groom the rest i think that's my intake from yeah yeah just what the river alivosema we we are trying to figure out ni what what at what point should e mentorship thing start i think it's best kama it's possible for example to yanzishe what to tell about of your ni kabla jaingia law school because wakianzia vioni for example it's a very good foundation when i was say train them young i think it really works in this in this part yes kwamba for example uh, i don't know kama e system ipo kwa tanzania which i think it, it can help us kwa nafunzo wa nafunzo wa vio kuandaa hizi vacation work programs so mtoto yuko chuo mwaka kwanza mwaka wa pili anaanza kwenda ku not necessarily working on a market because by that time I was but just uh, visiting different firms different they visiting different offices na baadhi na din na mambo ya sheria or legal departments kuona how things are be done kopia na hiyo vacation work program sio kama nenda sehemu moja mfano safari anaenda kwenye bank fulani next time anaenda kwenye telecommunication company next time anaenda kwenye law firm kwenye kila vacation ana rotate so hiyo pay inamsaidia kujua wapi 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 anataka nini maarifa na taarifa za kijanja kuhusu sheria karibu kwenye jukwaa la sheria poa sheria poa podcast tumeangalia changamoto lakini haimaanishi kwamba hamna progress iliyofanyika jamani kuna kama tunaposema tunatambua changamoto ambazo bado zipo lakini pia small wins we celebrate the small, small wins tumekuwa sasa na maraisi waliopita watanganyika wa chama cha mawakili tanganyika wawili kina mama yeah. uh, tume tuna, tuna majaji kadhaa na wengine wameshastaafu kwa wa kina mama yes um, kuna fursa kuna fursa sio tu Tanzania na nje ya Tanzania. Uh, kuna mahakama za kitaifa, kuna tri- arbitration tribunals uh, na, 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 na kina mama wengi wame, wame, um, wanawake wengi mawakili jasiri tunawatambua katika jamii yetu. Kwa hiyo hivyo fursa zipo kwa kina mama katika tasnia ya sheria na fursa ipo pia ya kina mama na kina baba kutoa mchango wao katika dhana ya women empowerment kupitia tasnia ya sheria dada flo wao umeshemeji umeona 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 opportunities ngapi umeona opportunities gani ungependa ku, kuambia kwamba kuna opportunities gani katika katika tasnia ya sheria kwa kweli katika tasnia ya sheria kuna opportunities nyingi sana kama nilivyosema before uh, saidi dhana ya women empowerment imekuwa very broad people are making positively people are celebrating women women are celebrating each other kwa hiyo hiyo tu yenyewe kuanza na hapo it's a very positive thing na kuna easy taula women uh, law zinachana communities ambazo zinasaidia wanawake wenye shida mbalimbali So I think ni sisi uh, ni ku identify the opportunities na kuzi grab maana ziko nyingi tajie basi chache Opportunities za sheria zipo nyingi haya namba moja for example kwenye law firms kama nikukwambia mi law firm mimi nafanyia kazi mimi wanawake ni wengi wanaume that's an opportunity on its own and mara nyingi for some reasons kwenye interviews wanachagoga yeah. wanawake wengi kuliko wanaume i don't know why it's a really female dominated firm which is a good thing um i know different heads of legal head directors of legal kwenye so many um in house wengi ni wanawake you can correct me come i'm wrong like kimi me no fine now kazi wengi 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 it's like 80% ni wanawake So hii inakuonyesha kwamba kuna so many opportunities out there kwa wanawake katika hii tasnia ya sheria. Yeah. Na na sasa hao wana wana mchango gani katika ku empower the young women that are coming up in the legal field? Yaani what ro- yani tuta, tunafanyaje sasa kwa empower wengine? Um kwa mfano roughly mimi ningefikiria labda kwa kuna mentorship program. Yeah, ya ku ya, ya ku mentor wanafunzi 
katika 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 view uh, tumeongelea mentorship inaweza ikawa ile one on one lakini pia inaweza ikawa ile as a group eh? uh, tuna taula Tanzania Women Lawyers Association tuna Tanzania Women Judges Association um, kuna NGOs zinaweza zikafanya kuna zinaweza zikaepo scholarships kwa ajili ya wanawake wanaotoka katika mazingira magumu uh, kusaidia au community ambazo zime bado 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 zinashikiliwa sana na 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 dhana potovu dhidi ya wanawake kwa hiyo ili ku encourage labda kutoa scholarship ni nini ambacho ni nini ambao kina mama ambao wameweza kufanikiwa na kina baba of course ambao pia wameweza kufanikiwa wanaweza kufanya kuinua kina mama ambao na wao wangependa kuingia katika tasnia shere ni nini ambacho tuna au 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 leaders wanaweza kufanya na i think the right question ni uh, sio ni nini au seniors wait for example about kwenye tasnia sheria wafanye bali ni nini au watu ambao wako chini our juniors wetu sisi wafanye kwa sababu for example unakuta yeah. mtu ni amestack sell kwenye hii career such people mara nyingi wako very 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 busy na hutamtegemea atakuja kwa junior kwa approach do you require mentorship program <laughs> it's very impossible true sure. yani hata kuja kutafuta wewe ni wewe ku make an effort kuwatafuta wao so So I think it's as much as uh, the burden is on them but mm. the bigger burden iko kwetu sisi juniors na kwa watu ambao wanataka to grow in that career you really need to identify the right person uh, the person that you can match with because it's a more of a relationship the person you can create a good relationship with and anaweza ka guide vizuri so so kaka kaka private una chochote cha kuongezea katika fursa mana muda ndo ndo unafika una, una, una fika hiyo. Okay, kama 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 tulivyoongea jana fursa kusema yeah. kweli nyingi na kama alivyosema wakili msomi Flora hapa na mjasiria Mali fursa ni nyingi sana. Uh, you know sometimes you have to create opportunities. You don't have to wait for that. Uh, yeah. nafikiria ni muda sasa umefika kuhakikisha tunawafundisha watu au wanafunzi vioni to make sure that they create opportunity they don't have to wait for it uh, na watu wasio waoga na dunia sasa hivi imebadilika things are going digital uh, we are no longer doing things old school so you, we have to learn new ways there are so many opportunities for women uh, and men lakini women even more opportunities kwa sababu women can, uh, they can multitask and uh, uh, most of the employers wanapenda watu wanaweza kufanya vitu vingi kwa wakati mmoja. So I think opportunities are there ni watu tu ku knock down doors na kutokuwa waoga. Sababu mara nyingi ni uoga ndo unafanya watu wasifike mahali wanapotaka kwenda. If you want to try something, if you want to try uh, fashion law, try it fashion law. If you want to try intellectual property, try it. You don't have to wait mpaka waanze kuifundisha university au ndo utafute wateja wa namna hiyo. No. If you don't try you not know and uh, you have to try it first so that you get to know so there are so many opportunities let me just add what Trevor amesema and would yeah. agree side of it to see angalia two opportunities Tanzania so in the market uh, it's a global world where what you Tanzania una fire the competition iko mpaka any you competing with on a sheria all over the world so the opportunity iko all over the world if you limit to kwa ndani ya Tanzania tuangalie the border city tuangalie East Africa tuangalie Southern Africa tuangalie the so lakini usi usi bila bila kuna nini um, sasa wewe kama wakili wa nguvu na mjasiria mali um, ambaye kwa kweli unaf, unafanya vizuri na tunatambua mchango wako katika jamii kwa sababu tumeona vitu ambavyo uh, umevifanya kama kama wakili msomi na kama mjasiriamali unatuma ujumbe gani mwaka huu 2021 tunapoadhimisha siku ya wanawake duniani na tunaposherekea siku hiyo katika mwezi huu wote uh, what is your parting shot maneno yako na ujumbe wako unatoa ujumbe gani 
kwa wanawake ambao tayari wako katika tasnia ya sheria na pia unatoa ujumbe gani kwa wanawake ambao wanakuja katika tasnia ya sheria what is your parting shot katika discussion okay so so kwa hiyo tu 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 tuongeze 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 uh, bidii uh, tu let's go for it tu ujumbe wa leo basically ni kwamba guys uh, we can do it it can be done go for it you deserve it uh, changamoto zipo lakini so do benefits uh, changamoto zinafanywa kazi tuzifanyie kazi kwa pamoja uh, na always speak up eh ukionewa ukifanywa vitendo vya kikatili usiruhusu hata vi, vi, ufanyie vitendo vya kikatili na endapo god forbid inatokea speak up support system ipo hiyo ndio take away niliyopata katika discussion ya leo uh, shemshem flow flow na kushukuru na kushukuru sana kwa 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 uwepo wako kwa kwa contribution yako Uh, na natumaini kwamba uh, wa, 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 wanaosikia watakaopata nafasi ya kusikia uh, discussion yetu ya leo wata, wataweza kufunguka kiakili wataweza kuwa inspired na kama kuna mwanamke yote ambaye anafikiria kuingia katika tasnia ya sheria ataona kwamba fursa zipo uh, na inawezekana mimi kwa upande wangu na kushukuru sana na nakutakia kila laheri na nakaribisha tena na tena na tena kushiriki nasi katika discussions uh, katika mijadala inayo inayoendelea kaka private naomba useme chochote kwa ajili ya kufunga ka ah iseme namshukuru sana wakili msomi na mjasiri ya mali eh, wa one insurance eh, uh, kwa kuepo hapa na kwa kutupa madini mazito na na uhakika watakao sikiliza watajua watanufaika vipi na nilikuwa nataka ni, ni, ni mpe rai e, kuna vijana kadha wa kadha at least naye aseme ana mentor wangapi mpaka sasa hizi akiwa kama mwanamama <laughs> sababu charity begins at home e, we should preach what uh, e, lazima tu, tu, tunachokiongea tukiishi kwa hiyo sasa hivi najua flow wewe ni sinya kwa watu wengi sana so nadhani wakati umefika na wewe wabebe wachache tokao weza. Hiyo tu ndo rai yangu kwako. Otherwise na kushukuru sana na asante sana uh, kwa 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 kukubali mwaliko wetu kwa ndani ya muda mfupi tuliokupatia. Na we have more topics coming and uh, I hope hopefully uh, tukikupa invitation yetu next time. Na shukuru sana na jioni njema. Maarifa na taarifa za kijanja kuhusu sheria karibu kwenye jukwaa la sheria poa sheria poa podcast